Ever wonder how you can save water, time, and money in a landscape installation? Drip irrigation allows for sustainable upkeep by eliminating waste from sprinkler and spray head operation. Drip irrigation in landscape applications has been around for 20 years, and now it's even easier. Here are the basics for installing a Netafim on-surface drip irrigation system. Netafim. Grow more with less. Quality products, experienced people, and reliable partners. Here to walk us through is Netafim representative Mark Hall. Well, to get this job started, we've got one important thing to do, and that's to measure the pressure. Drip system is a lower pressure system, but we still need adequate pressure to run it, so we've got to find out what we have. So what next? The irrigation system actually starts right here. This is our point of connection. Water is supplied to the point of connection from the meter in the street, which connects to a backflow prevention device. From here, main line is routed to an assembly known as the Netafim Low Volume Control Zone Kit, which includes a valve, disc filter, and pressure regulator. This pre-assembled unit controls the flow of water, cleans the water, and regulates the water pressure. A high volume control zone kit is needed for drip systems that exceed 4.4 gallons per minute. An in-ground valve box usually houses the control kits, but if you already have your valve in an above-ground setup, you can easily add a filter and pressure regulator. You can see right here, the water comes through this mainline pipe, goes into the PVC pipe, Starts here, goes across, right below the soil, in this case, six or 12 inches down, and the PVC pipe will come out where we have our stub up so we can irrigate directly through this tubing and through the emitters to the roots of the plants. What a great way to go. So how do you determine which drip line to use for your application? For greatest water efficiency, Netafim recommends choosing drip line based on soil type. The three soil types include sand, loam, and clay. For this site, which has loam soil, we'll use a 0.4 gallon per hour dripper with 12 inch emitter spacing. Netafim's convenient label helps us estimate the amount of tubing needed based on the square footage of our planting area. Since our planter bed is 150 square feet, then one coil of tubing for our loop layout will be more than enough. We'll space our lateral rows 18 inches apart. This will facilitate proper coverage. Less dense soils like sand require closer emitter spacing, and denser, heavier soils like clay require lower flow rates. What's unique is that the inside wall is made out of recycled products. The outside is a virgin product that actually has UV inhibitors. So why is drip better than sprinklers, Mark? It's a very slow emission of water, which allows the soil to take in the water correctly without having runoff. I think we're ready to lay in our drip line. What we'll need is some staples and a rubber mallet so we can secure the dripper line in place. We're gonna start at our stub up. We'll connect our dripper line to this T and we will do a light layout in this planter bed. You hold one end, do a rocking motion, and that's it. There's no glue required to make this work. We're gonna lay this out about two to four inches from the edge of the paving. And then we're gonna do our staples about every three feet apart. When we get to the corners, you don't even need an elbow, which is great. And it's also a cost saver. If the soil's soft enough, we can press it in with our hand and not use any tools. And now we're actually going to make another turn. Some people call it snaking it. We also have this piece of PVC pipe, cut it to the right width so we know how to space our tubing. So there's a foundation here at the house, so we'll keep our dripper line a little bit away from the foundation. The other nice thing about drip is you don't get spray on the siding, which can do property damage where you have to replace it over time. and you're doing the same process all the way through. This will all be covered with mulch. You won't see any of your irrigation like you would typically with spray head. We're just trying to keep a uh, continuous loop. That's our goal. 
when we're doing a flight layout or a snake layout like this, we always want to loop it all the way around back to our stub up. So we will install one more key. You can see we're not using very many fittings on this whole planter bed. It's the less expensive and also the less labor. Okay, we're almost there. Now that we've completed our loop layout, our last stop is to install a manual flush valve. With our disc filter and self-flushing emitters protecting our system from debris, the manual flush valve is installed in a valve box at the end of the zone to thoroughly flush the system after initial installation and a couple of times per year for regular maintenance. These Netafim technologies optimize dripline performance and ensure clean and reliable operation. All right, system is complete. So there we have it. Installing an on-surface drip irrigation system requires no complicated tools and uses recycled product. This convenient, environmentally friendly system makes drip irrigation, well, easy. Netafim's quality drip tubing products reduce the installation time, blend into the landscape, and use less water. Netafim. Grow more. With less. For more information, please visit netafimusa.com. Mm-hmm.